Welcome to Rocking My Business. We are so glad you're joining us here for our third episode. My name is Janet Benedict, and I like to help entrepreneurs and have been doing it for over 25 years, coaching, connecting, and networking with them. And my co-host, Sherry, she's very much like I am, helping entrepreneurs. Sherry? Hi, I'm Sherry Samos, and I've been supporting entrepreneurs for over 25 years to rock their business by finding and implementing the right marketing methods. This month, the topic on our show is rocking your sales. And I'm so excited that Janet is leading the training this month and is going to share with us some ideas and secrets about how to rock your sales. This is actually part of the Rock in My Business membership program. So are you, if you're an official member and you're watching, you get access to the full training on this topic and a new marketing or sales training topic each month and a lot of other benefits. So please check us out on our website. And Janet, let's jump right into this training. Yes, let's do that. Rocking your sales. I just love that. You can rock your sales a couple of different ways. You, there's two ways you could increase your sales. One is more customers, of course. The other is selling more to existing clients. And in the actual membership training, I go into both of them in great detail. It is something I have taught individually and in groups uh, for quite a few years now. And uh, it, the what we're talking about is, you know, how do you do it? How, how, how do we do anything? And the biggest thing to remember is whatever it is you set out to do, you need to know where you're starting from. And a lot of people don't. So you need to ask yourself those questions. You know, where am I at? Where do I want to go? How will that affect me? So, you know, let's maybe start with that. The questions to ask yourself are how much business do you currently have? Do you have, and be very specific. How many do you want? And when would you like them by? So those are very specific questions, but you have to be specific to know what you're doing. There are six components to the program that we work on. The first one being marketing strategies. And that's where you pick two to four strategies that you can use during the, the cycle of the program, which I recommend doing in 28 days. That doesn't sound like a lot, or maybe it does sound like a lot, but you have to be able to revisit it and change things up also. So the marketing strategies, what are they? They are, um, maybe you are comfortable directly talking to somebody and, and approaching them that way. Um, or maybe you prefer to meet people through networking or referrals. Maybe you like to do promotions, advertising, print, or um, like paper advertising, flyers, that kind of thing. Maybe you write. Maybe you speak. All these things really are ways that you can meet your new clients. And I talk about them in great detail in the training and what the advantages are to going with each and why do I say only choose two to four? Actually, four, I think, is still too many. I think two to three is enough, personally, because you don't want to be all over the place. You want to be able to focus on where you're going. That's great, Janet. You know, when I am coaching my marketing clients, I also do that. I ask them to choose, uh, you know, a certain amount, a small amount of marketing strategies and really concentrate on them and do them well. And make sure that when you are using them, that you're using them to the best of the ability and that you know enough about them to do them properly. So that's great. Yeah. That's, that's a perfect place to start to choose the ones and know how you're going to be uh, selling, right? Right. And choose what you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You can always add on other strategies down the road as you maybe uh, find that you're, you're doing the ones you like and you've never written before and all of a sudden you're writing blogs 
and doing that. And you can always say, I'm going to add that into my, my funnel for finding more people. I'm going to use the blog because I enjoy writing. And you didn't know that before. So it's all, yeah. uh, you know, it's all out there for you. The That's next great. thing you need to know, and, and this will determine to some of your marketing strategies, is what stage are you at? Do you have a hard time finding people, like filling that funnel? Is that your toughie? Is it following up? You get the people in your funnel and you it start, but they, they're stuck in there because you didn't follow up. You know, you've got to follow up. Or maybe you just don't feel um, you can have a sales conversation. You're not comfortable. And that could be for many reasons. It could be because you're not fully understanding the product or service enough to have that sales conversation. In that case, you're talking homework. You've got to just check it out and find out what it is. Or maybe it's just you have a hard time uh, putting yourself out there and just having a conversation. You don't have the confidence. Again, that's another thing that can be worked on, but you need to know where it is. The other thing is you have you know, you've got them in the funnel, you've followed up, you've had that sales conversation. Now what? Got to close the sale. How are you going to close that sale? There's a lot of different ways you can do it, but the worst thing you can do is to leave them hanging. You need to be able to uh, move the, the conversation to that closing sale. Janet? Yeah, it, it's I feel like people maybe need a procedure that they follow when they're, you know, selling, um, because if they do, they can kind of use it as a checklist. Do you uh, teach that type of thing is to have a, a protocol that you follow or a system that you follow so that, you know, um, you know, step one is that you follow up. Step two is that you uh, give them a phone call. Step three is yes. that you, if you haven't heard from them, you do another method. Is that what we're talking about here yeah absolutely and there is some very set steps that you can do and some that I recommend especially in the full training program because I already know where you're at and where you want to go and so knowing that and knowing what your strengths are in your marketing strategy and knowing where you've been stuck I can actually address those and give you specific ideas and when I say specific, I, I want to just clarify that if you tell me right now, and I'm just going to pick an easy number, I have 10 customers and I would like to have 15. So you need five more customers, right? which is great. But if you tell me, well, I have 10 customers, I just want more. That's not telling me enough. 11 is more. It's one more. But if you give a specific number, and then I'm going to say, and when would you like to have those five by? And because, oh, you know, as soon as I can. No, that's not an answer. By the end of this month, that's an answer. Then you've got something that you can actually be accountable for. Mm. As you said, Very I'm important. going to get five more customers by the end of the month. So yeah. those are are really uh, key factors and giving you a, a list of things to do actually knowing that you depending on where you're stuck yes there'd be a list if you are stuck filling the pipeline i'm not going to go into the follow-up because you can't even get them in the pipeline in the funnel right. and it's called a universal uh sales cycle if you will that's what i call it and i picture a huge funnel and they're coming in, you're finding them. They could be cold calls. They could be warm calls. They could be referrals through networking. So many different places. But now we've got them in that funnel. And so what happens then? Some, some are going to go to the no pile. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's life. Uh, but some you're going to need to follow up with. And that's, if that's where you're having trouble, then that's the specific um, tasks that you would be given to do that and that is all based on you know your program goal which I really just touched on 
is the result she planned to achieve in the next, say, 28 days, because I based right. it on a 28 day cycle. So depending on where you want to go as to how much and where your um, focus should be in, in doing your tasks. Right. I think it's so important that people do have goals that they want to achieve, especially when they embark on a new program like this, right? Because Absolutely. then you Absolutely. just fly in by the seat of your pants if you don't have a program uh, like a goal. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, flying by the seat of the pants usually just ends <laughs> up in pants with holes in them. So. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend that. <laughs> okay, so in this program, I have what I call success ingredients, okay? And those are the missing ingredients that currently you don't have in your marketing program to get you to where you want to be. So Ooh, I like we that. Need to, yeah, we need to find mm. those. It's like if you bake a cake and you leave out the eggs, if, if that's what they call for, um, you're not going to have the right combination there to make a good cake. So right if you think like success ingredients like anything you do or any recipe you do i think of it like a recipe i call some of them uh you know kind of like the appetizers and then the main course and dessert mm -hmm. so it, it kind of goes through and then there's some extra ones as well so going into them you need to know like i said you need to know where you're stuck you need to know what you're comfortable doing you need to have a goal then we can choose success ingredients to get you there. If nice. your uh, part of your goal is you're filling the pipeline, you need to get to know more people and say one way to do it is um, networking more to meet new people and different people in the area uh, or in that particular uh, genre. Then one of your success ingredients could be to attend a networking meeting once a week hmm. and if, if you and what i said is attend a networking meeting so that's one networking meeting each week not just go to more because go to more you know isn't that so that becomes a task so that is something you can check off and as part of that it could be at that networking meeting make a point of speaking to in, in depth to two or three different people that you might be able to follow up with. You're gonna see a lot of people and you know, maybe most of them or many of them aren't ones you're going to work with, but they might know people who might be a good fit for you as well. Right. Now, I know yeah. I'm saying this right now during a time when we have a, a pandemic going on and people are not meeting uh, in, real life as much so a lot of our networking is being done online that's out there it exists it works and uh i'm i embrace it because i feel so much more energy when i can sit and talk to these different people when we have our networking meetings even with rocking my business they're mm -hmm. they're fun they're they informative are. um we all learn and we get to know one another better and better each time. It's great. That's right. I'm really enjoying the uh, online networking that we're doing each Monday morning. Yes. And, uh, kind of when you're stuck at home like we are, we get a little stale. We get a little bored. Yep. We get a little out of, in a funk, right? And just that, I find that connecting with those people each Monday morning kind of lights a fire. And, and yes. I guess in a sense, um, get you back connected with the world and the people in it, right? Especially, especially with this pandemic going on. It's so, imp right. so important. It's so important to stay in touch. And if that's the way we have to do it right now, then so be it. Let it be that right. way. Uh, I, it's funny, we're talking about networking. I just got to throw in here something I'm doing at the next Canadian networker meeting is going to try a uh, speed networking using Zoom breakout. Oh, that'll be so fun. I think it'll be fun. Either that or it'll be a total disaster. And <laughs> if you're watching this and you were part of it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it'll be one or the other. But I think it'll be fun and uh, a worthwhile endeavor. And hey, let's see what happens.
Mm-hmm. So now, you know, we, so you know your success ingredients, you know what you, you've got to do. And then we pick daily actions to take tasks towards uh, achieving those success ingredients. Usually with success ingredients, I'll say go for three. So uh, if you can't uh, think of three, uh, I have a lot of suggestions, trust me, things you maybe haven't thought of. But after you pick three, then pick 10 steps that'll take you Mm. towards achieving those success ingredients. And you can plan on them for daily or weekly. But the biggest part of this is to be specific. Like I said, one networking meeting each week. Make five cold calls each day. Make 10 follow-up uh, emails. Or send 10 follow-up emails out to people you've spoke to in the last week. Connect with people you haven't spoke to in a while. But put a number on it. Connect mm-hmm. with three people this week. Um, so doing that and making it specific really makes it something that you can do and and it it actually um the chart i used when i was uh, teaching this program i had a task list and you had to check it off (laughs) okay and if you don't check it off there is a really great thing about doing something like this on a task list if you continuously do not check something off then we need to talk about it because maybe you don't know how to do it you don't like doing it. It could be one or the other. It could be something else. Maybe it's, uh, you know, you're a little nervous about doing it. And so you put it off because we all tend to do that and put off things we don't particularly like to do. Um, it's very well, true. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. There's a, a book Brian Tracy put out a few years ago, a number of years ago now, called Eat That Frog. And what yes. it, it, yeah, the whole premise of the book is get the, that nasty thing you don't want to do out of the way as quickly as possible. And I've often, uh, when coaching, asked people to pick the thing on your list that you least like doing and get it done and you will feel so good. Everything else will be just, you know, a piece of cake. So that's... Uh, uh, if you haven't got that book, I think you can even download it in the PDF now. It's uh, been out quite some time. Or you can still pick it up in the bookstore or library. So that's daily actions. I like, I like that. Uh, before you go on to the next, I like that daily action because you feel like you're accomplishing and you can see what you're accomplishing yeah. each day by checking it off. Plus, you kind of stay accountable to yourself. That's right true. to get those things done every day and if you don't um be consistent i know as i was posting about this the other day in an online group that i manage and i said if you're if you're not consistent it's not going to work for you you need to do the same things every day people yep. start to see them and you start to get results so th- i like that i like this daily action i'm going to i'm going to maybe make myself one of these Janet and chat and test it out. (laughs) Check out the training. You'll see. You'll see what Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. This next part or in the sixth part of this is, uh, it might sound odd, but special permission. And you think, what do you mean special permission? Mm -hmm. You need to grant yourself the permission to be successful in any area where maybe you haven't been as successful. Or maybe you feel you might have failed or you're disappointed in yourself. Give yourself permission to succeed. It's amazing what the power our minds can tell us and how Mm. we can use that. And when we're thinking we're down and and we're looking at a task and we're going, oh, geez, I don't know if I can do that. Turn that around. Wait a minute. I can do it. I give myself the okay to do it. And I'll do it well. And if you I keep love that. that, yeah, I love you keep that. that focus, it, you know, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you know how many things come at us. And there's a lot of different things in the 
general uh, business world that can be difficult with the pandemic, it's been even more difficult for a lot of us. And we have that power. And giving yourself permission, I, I think, well, well, it, it's, it's huge. It's big. But love it, Janet. It, the power of positive thinking. It and is the power of positive and, thinking. Yeah, affirmations. You know, I just had a, a thought. I'm always mm. um, asking people to put these things into print and posting them. So, for instance, um, if you give your permission to succeed in a certain area, actually, you know, make a little poster that you can put up so that you can see it above your desk or on your bulletin board. And constantly remind yourself because that visual on that and keeping that on top of mind will even amplify the success of that strategy, right? That's right. I'm just thinking, Sherry, to um, the uh, networking meeting we had this past Monday, uh, mm -hmm. where at the end we asked everybody to come up with something they wanted to accomplish in this next week. Right. And at, at first, everybody was just pulling back a little bit and didn't want to say anything and just kind of threw, I think I, think I threw John under the bus first. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, he, he said what he wanted to do. And then I think everybody noticed I was doing something because I was writing it all down. And then everybody, I said, who's next? Who's next? And, you know, you were encouraging them. And... Uh, yeah, and then they turned the tables on us. Can you believe it? They turned the tables on it and asked us, "What? Okay, what do you want to accomplish?" <laughs> right. you know, good for you guys. You know, that's really great. But now, if they show up for the next meeting, <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm going to follow <laughs> up. We're, we're both going to follow up, and we're going to just have some fun with it. And mm -hmm. I wanted them to give themselves permission to be able to do that to be able to accomplish it. And even if, because some of the tasks were a little more than the others, mm -hmm. even if they only got uh, a quarter of the way through or a third of the way through, that's still an accomplishment. You know, they, they can finish it. One of the things that uh, I truly believe in and has helped me in business is accountability. Mm, you for know, sure we have to have somebody other than ourselves that we're accountable to someone who will ask us once or twice a week. So, you know, where are you at? How is that going? You know, what is working? What have you done so far? What is next? And it, it's just gives you that motivation to get it done because you know, you're going to be asked those questions. So you don't want to say, well, I, you know, yeah, I didn't really start it yet. Or you want to be able to say, well, I did this and this and this. And the thing is, you know, you be true to you, be honest. If you don't be true to you and honest with yourself, you're not going to get very far. So if you have not done what you set out to do and asked your accountability partner to check in on you on, be honest and say, and then they can find out why. They can ask you why. Maybe give you some ideas how you can get around that. And we all have things that happen. Yeah. Things that life throws us curves. That's right. And accountability certainly does work on a, because of a couple things. People, it's common, you know, nature that they don't want to let others down. Yep. And they want someone to be proud of them. So when you have someone that, yeah. you, that you're accountable to and you say, hey, I did it. I accomplished that. And they say, great job. You really feel good about yourself. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And on the other turn, <laughs> other side of things, I guess, <laughs> if you say, no, I didn't get it done, you feel really crappy and icky. So, yeah, yeah accountability, I, I love using that. Um, yeah you know, with coaching clients too. And, and yeah, I yeah. tell them on the next call, we're going to start with what you accomplished. Mm -hmm. Right. And I always tell them if they've accomplished it, I'm so proud of you. That's great. Um, you know, what did you find that that did for you this week? How are you feeling? Right. Exactly. So awesome. I love this special permission. Grant yourself 
permission yeah. to be successful in any area where you may have failed in. That's, that's awesome because sometimes when people do fail, they give up and say, I'm never doing that again. Yep. That's true. Love it. That's Love very, it, Janet. That's very <laughs> true. Yeah. Another thing that um, I, I, have put in there before and uh, I'm not sure that I did it on in this particular uh, training for our members, but reward yourself. Mm -hmm. Rewarding yourself does not have to be anything that even costs money. It mm -hmm. just has to be something that when I have got these 10 tasks done on my list this week, and I am finished and it is um, 11 o'clock Friday morning and I've done all my stuff I was going to do. I'm going to take the afternoon and uh, read, pour myself a cup of tea and uh, read and just relax yes. and enjoy me time. Like nice. that doesn't cost you anything um, <laughs> and, it, it's like, and it becomes a reward. Uh, I know a person who would reward herself on a weekly basis and she she took um, reading and her tea to another level. She booked herself um, right in her planner this time every week for two hours. And she would go to a uh, cafe or restaurant or, or, of some kind. You don't have to do that, but she would book this time and do it. And people would try to call her to book time with her. Mm -hmm. And she'd say, uh, no, I, I'm booked at that time. She would not give in. She would not let go of that two hours. That okay. was her reward. And I, I think, think you need that. Yeah, right? you, you do. Yeah. You feel so much better when you can do that. And when you can say to somebody, I'd like to see you too. And I plan on meeting with you, but... Thursday between one and three just isn't going to work for me because mm -hmm. that was her particular time to uh, nice. have her time. So, you know, it's, it's okay. It's good to do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Janet, Janet, thank you so much for all these ideas and uh, tools to use and, and the daily list and everything we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually part of a program that a big program, a full program that you teach as well um, yeah. called Get Clients Now. Is that not right? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. I, I have taught that program for about six years now. And actually, uh, I'm one of three uh, facilitated licensed tr trainers in Canada. There's only three of us. So um, that's amazing. It's something so special to me and something uh, I put a lot of people through that program individually and in groups. I've done it one-on-one -on -one and I've had groups as big as 12. And it's uh, I, the, power of the, the power of the success of those groups. And these are people too. Now they became accountable to one another, the ones in groups. And I found that they still, most of them still use the same program today when they're taking on new things. Um, I have some wonderful testimonials. I have people who um, had their own business, entrepreneurs who were in a position where they were looking at giving up their business and working in a regular like nine to five type job. And they've never, and I said to them at the time, uh, give me six weeks. And they did. They put their trust in me. And in uh, six weeks, they never looked back. And, That's amazing. You know, and I, I still hear from many of them and, and see some of them, too, through our networking groups and stuff. So it's, it's really something I'm very passionate about and just enjoy giving. So when you're a member of Rock and My Business... You actually get uh, components of this Get Clients yes. Now program as well, feeded, uh, fed to you a bit at a time. So that's amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. You're and offering uh, really good value to the members. Um, so yeah, that's, that's awesome. So everyone, um, if you have not noticed, 
We also have, in addition to this longer show, weekly casual chats with entrepreneurs all over the globe about different subjects and invite you to apply to be on the show. If you've got something exciting to talk about, connect with us and we'll consider you as a guest for our weekly casual chats. Absolutely. We'd love to have all kinds of uh, different entrepreneurs from different fields come in and talk to us. So you are invited to apply for that for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like to uh, do a, a thank you to our sponsors for the show. And uh, you'll see them come up at the end of the show. But they include All Things Holistic, Delicioso Skincare, Spectrum Wireless, Blackfly Spirits and or Spirits Beverages, I guess, and my my medical vacations. Let's try that again. <laughs> also, um, if you enjoyed the music coming into the show and the outgoing music, that was brought to us by Sarah Smith Music. And we are truly grateful for that. She did this just for our, our show and the lyrics just for our show. Also, yes, love our theme, theme song. Thanks, I know Sarah. sometimes I hear it and then I can't get it out of my head. And I'm, I know, I find you know, myself singing it too. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Also, mm. if, if you do or when you purchase a, a ticket to our show, I want to let you know that $1 is donated back to RISE. And who is RISE? RISE helps those with mental health challenges get their small business ideas realized, which is super. Mm -hmm. Tickets are only $5 per show and $1 will be donated to them for each show. So please support and watch for ticket sales each month. That'll be announced on social media and can be purchased through Eventbrite. Yeah. And also, Prizes, everyone loves prizes, right? To win a prize pack filled with goodies from our sponsors, all you need to do is watch this show, leave a comment, and a winner will be chosen one week after the show airs. So please watch, comment, subscribe <laughs> to our channel. If you, and if you love our show, please leave a comment. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month again. Same time, same place. And you guys rock. Yeah. Bye for now. Rock on. Rock on.